Hi, welcome to the Ivory Egg Technical Bulletin. In this episode we're going to have a look at the Tabin Manifold Controller, which has some really unique features making it one of the best products in the KNX market at the moment. Let's get started. There are two models in this range, the HMT6S and the 12S. The 6S is a 6 channel manifold controller and the 12 is 12 channels. Both of the models have a uh, integrated 24 volt power supply, so the valve outputs are 24 volt. But it's all integrated into one unit, so you don't need any separate power supply. It's also designed to be wall mounted and it's completely self-contained with cable retention built into the device, making it a really easy product to install. Uh, the outputs are 24 volt for normal electrothermal valve actuators, but it can also be used to drive 0 to 10 volt valves if you wanted to use it for mixing valves or for positional control of a manifold circuit. It has integrated pump outputs, built-in relays for driving a local circulation pump. It's the first product I know that has this, making it really unique, really simple for those projects where you do need to turn that pump on and off that's on the manifold. It also has separate objects that can be used over the bus to control boiler or more centrally located pumps. It also has integrated room temperature controllers, which is quite common now on manifold controllers. It can receive the demand from a separate room temperature controller, or it can just receive the room temperature use its internal regulation to determine the position of the valve and also provide a cooling function off to a separate controller as well. The way the pump objects work is quite unique. There is the inbuilt relay, which can be assigned to any of the outputs, but it also has the object which can be assigned either to the same outputs or separate outputs. So you may have a room, as, as per the drawing, a room with a couple of circuits on one circulation pump and maybe a separate output maybe a separate system with some other zones with a central circulation pump or even a local circulation pump. So you could actually use this to drive two manifolds uh, from the one controller. You can also use the local pump output to trigger the circulation pump and then take the object back onto the bus to control the central plant, the boiler maybe. However, it has the maximum actuating value, which is a unique function within Tabin. It's an output which gives the highest positional demand of the uh, different outputs, but it's an intelligent object. And when linked with other manifolds or the Tabin Cheops drive, the group address will only ever have the maximum actuating value on it. Uh, it works by one object sending a value, and then if any of the other objects on the different devices are higher, they will send uh, the highest value. So it enables you to link multiple manifolds and radiators together without the need for any logic. Normally you'd use an OR gate in a logic controller or maybe on a, on a relay. There's no limit. You can link as many manifolds as you need and you're always just going to have the highest demand variable. And when linked with the threshold value input on the Tabin relays, it's a really, really simple way to get the demand across the property back to the central boiler or central plant equipment. The HMT6 and 12 both have uh, overcurrent indications, so you can see if the loading is wrong on the valve heads. And it has a really cool emergency mode which can be based on the external temperature. So if each of the channels doesn't receive the demand from a separate room temperature controller or the temperature value from a temperature sensor, it will fall over into an emergency mode. Again, that's quite common, but it has an input for external temperature, so it will actually do a degree of regulation in emergency mode. And then if it doesn't receive that at external temperature, it will switch over to a, another level of emergency mode where it just goes to a set value. Really simple way of ensuring continuity of operation in a project. If we just take a bit more of a detailed look at the, the specification, uh, each of the valve outputs is rated at 0.4 amp peak, so the switch on demand, and then 0.12 amp during runtime. Now that is powered from the onboard power supply. On the HMT6S, uh, which has six channels, you can have two uh, valve actuators per channel. And on the 12S, you can have one per channel. But of course, if needs be, you can always link together channels and the parameters to increase the number of valves per zone. If you are using it for zero to 10 volt, well, the minimum resistance is 1,250 ohms. And there is actually a 12 volt output terminal which you can use to power the valves. It's rated at 1.4 amps, and if you have a mixture of 24 volt and 0 to 10 volt valves, uh, then you need to downrate that output based on the number of valves at 0 0.1 amp per connected 24 volt valve. The switch output, which is used for the pump, it's a volt free contact rated at 5 amps, 240 volts. So you will need to power that separately. That's it for this Ivory Egg Technical Bulletin. The Tabin HMT6S and 12S 
really are unique products. They have a lot of additional functions that you just don't find on other manifold controllers. And it's great to see that they've listened to some feedback from the market in terms of things like integrating the relay output. There's also some additional parameters that make sure that the product works correctly with different types of manifold configurations. Uh, so really good go-to product, super easy to install with everything self-contained. For more information, check out the links below and get in touch with the Ivory sales team if you want some help specifying this product on your next project. Thanks for watching.